Hi guys, uh, I was up at the trailer editing a video today of an inside cabin tour and there was a couple things I wanted to point out. I didn't want to take time to reshoot the video. I'm going to put it up as it is. Um, first thing is the video footage. We haven't done a video. We did one video last week or earlier this week. So we hadn't done a video for several months and we have been always using a camera and this camera is now 10 years old. It's the same camera we've always used for YouTube and it's, it's getting some problems and you can tell in the footage um, First off, it's shaky because I, I don't have a, a stick for it, but it, it's even, it was like trying to go in and out to adjust the light in the cabin, the natural lighting, because it was just, it was at dusk time. And mosquitoes are horrible right now. So that, I know it's kind of irritating for some, but if you can just hang in there, it does get a little better as I move the, the camera around. And I'm going to reshoot it later, um, but right now I'm just going to put it up as is. And we're hoping to get a new camera soon. We're working on that. So, um, found a mosquito that really likes me. The other thing is I mentioned our ice boxes and what we're doing with them and I say that we haven't used them because we don't have electricity but for those that don't know why we can't use them without electricity I just wanted to clarify that we don't um, we use the when we lived down south we had a deep freeze in our garage in our workshop where there was electricity and we froze two liter bottles and we have a video on our channel of that and if I can figure it out remember how to do it I will link to that video but we used the two liter bottles, we'd freeze them in the deep freeze, and then we would um, put them into the ice box. And we did that in the warm months. Well, up here, since we don't have electricity, we don't have a deep freeze anywhere. And we're dependent totally on, you know, the temperatures just getting cold. So, um, and there was one more thing, but my husband's walking by and I forgot what the third thing was. <laughs> uh, let's see, the ice box, the jiggling, Oh boy, I don't know. I guess if it's in there and somebody says, well, hey, what about this? We'll figure it out then. Um, okay, so I guess that's it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to clarify up front in the beginning of the video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and we'll reshoot this as soon as we can. Thanks. God bless. Hi, everybody. I have a few minutes alone right now. We just had some company and had a very nice visit. Sharon, it was so nice to meet you. And Wayne, it was really good seeing you. Except for some salt in your hair, you look the same. And we just had a really good time. Glad you guys took time to stop. But my guys all went outside and I thought it'd be a perfect time to do a cabin tour, um, at least of the main floor. We've had some people wanting to see our kitchen. Um, these are people that have seen our original kitchen tour in our old home and wondered how things were different. And I just thought it'd be a nice time to be able to walk you through. So we hope you enjoy this tour. Our cabin is 30 foot long and 16 wide on the main floor. The upstairs is 30 foot long and 12 wide and six foot tall so it's just tall enough to stand up in um, down here ceilings are eight foot and um, y'all know that we got rid of a lot of our kitchen antiques but at this point in time in our life having kept them would have been they wouldn't have been a blessing anymore they would have been um, a curse if you want to say because we would have had trouble storing them when we first moved up here, we had to rent a U-Haul storage unit, and it was $100 a month. So we had that for the first seven months until we got this place put up and emptied it out. I guess it was more like eight months, emptied it out very quickly. But this is the scope of the cabin. Again, it's 30 foot long, 16 foot wide. Um, what we have left in furniture fits in here nicely. There's the wood door. Ron made this wood door so we could move in because we didn't have a door at the time. Um, and we just wanted to get in here and the closest town that we could get to was a couple hours away and it was in February and we just didn't want to drive that far. We have a lumber yard where we can get wood, but getting windows and doors is much more difficult and that will, I'll explain the window story to you. If not in this video, in a later video, I plan on doing a video on why we built the cabin the way we did. Um, I guess right now we'll just kind of stay focused with uh, the kitchen or the tour of the cabin, kitchen, and living area. So, um, our ice boxes. Now, because we don't have electricity, we have not been using them this summer. What we are going to do this fall is Ron is going to cut a hole in the back. Of, we're thinking the large ice box right now um, and have a little tube or I don't know vent 
tube going outside with a a closable vent to open so we can let in cold air now it gets cold enough up here for four or five months where we wouldn't have to worry about ice and then when the time comes when it's too warm we'll go back to the cooler system the cooler system is very expensive we either need to build an insulated box for the coolers uh, which we just, it just we just had so much to do we haven't had time to even mess with some of this stuff or we need to um, dig an in-ground refrigerator system the ladder that you see goes up to our sleeping area and he is going to be building a more user-friendly ladder again because there's been so much to do in such a short amount of time we've just had to pick things and move along with them um, temporary but yet permanently enough so that it is usable this is one of the windows that he recently put in okay here's our pie safe and as you can see our pie safe is up on a frame and the purpose for that is because we live in a small enough space with a large enough family and enough belongings <clears throat> excuse me that we needed to have a place for our firewood and we came up with this idea that he would build a base and then store the firewood underneath and it's actually worked out really well that's usually enough not on a super cold day but an average day we can get enough firewood under there um, to last us a full day in the warmer months you know it goes about a day and a half Here is our stove. She fits well in here. And I did position this window intentionally so that even with oil lamps, you don't get a lot of light that you need directly. And I thought that with a window right there, and this nice this window is really almost the height of the wall, that it would increase my light, and it has. I absolutely love it. Um, we still need to get curtains on it, obviously, but it, it had, and it was something I had thought about for a long time doing uh, before we even moved that when we built a cabin that I wanted to have at least one window next to the stove. So that, that's worked out well. One thing to keep in mind, um, when you live in a small space, I'm sorry, I'm just going to keep zooming around here and I'll come in as I'm, I'm thinking here, but when you live in a small space, you need to have a spot for everything because if you don't it will drive you just bonkers and because we don't have running water on the property um, we aren't permitted for that and our community does have an artesian well that its residents can get water from if they choose we have uh, five gallon containers that we get water for now we do have a creek that we water our animals from and things like that but as far as for our water we go up to the artesian well it's not far from us and we get these containers filled i have enough room under my center island to get eight containers um, we did get our table up here and as you can see our seating arrangement is not the greatest we're still working on benches being built but I, again there's just so much to do it wasn't a priority down below and it's just not a priority now this is a um, garden bench actually that my mother had ron build years ago and she decided she didn't want anymore so we brought it in and it, it works fine to sit a couple of the kids we usually have to pull another chair up That back there in the corner is our bathroom. It's the, someday we'll have a door on it. It's just when we got the walls up, we just needed privacy, so we hung a curtain there. The boards right there is what the entire cabin is going to look like on the inside. We have yet to chink in between each board, but it does give it a nice rustic, flat log cabin feel. And as you can tell, our walls aren't done. Um, we are doing this as we can as we go along the journey. When time and money allow, it seems so often if you have time, you don't have money. If you have money, you don't have time. Seldom do the two 
come together at the right time. But God will work it out. And you would think, this is the funny thing. When we moved in in February, we were in such a hurry to get out of that trailer that we had no windows put in and we had no interior walls. The first two days, because we didn't have things quite figured out for us, we um, we froze. I had kids double layered and I'm thinking this is not going to work. And Ron did a little bit of tweaking. You can see he got some insulation put up here where the ceiling and the roofing came together and stuff. Made a huge difference. And it made such a huge difference that we started to roast in here and we had no windows to open because down south we're the only people in the middle of January that would have windows open down there and because of our wood stoves. You can't regulate your heat real well. I mean you can on a wood stove you can regulate it to a certain extent but it does it does take some doing and the best way we found to help regulate it was to crack a window open. Well we didn't have that but we have it now so I'm looking forward to a much more comfortable uh, heated winter and not concerned at all about it being warm enough throughout the winter but from our past experience and you can see too he started to insulate the walls so we'll finish we've got more insulation we just haven't had time to get it up um, and that will that'll regulate or keep you know there hasn't been any wind we got tie back up in front of the siding so it, there was no wind coming through it wasn't anything like that and as i said it was just too hot uh here's my dry sink and this is where i do dishes um we heat our water up still in these pans down here and the one there's one on the stove and there's two on the floor it's, and there's the reservoir so i heat up about 20 gallons of water at a time i do have the capacity to heat up more if i need it i've got about three more pans that hold a huge amount of water or five gallons of water but I seldom need that much more because I just keep the pans rotating and refill as I go this is my view for doing dishes and I do love it um, it's it's a soothing view and with the window here the I, it's never too hot to do dishes if you have, when I was doing dishes over here at this counter the center island before we got the windows in there I would just roast and it's <laughs> It's, it's wonderful. So, um, but everything, everything you see here is, you know, stuff that we had left that we brought up. The only thing that we didn't have that's in here right now are these two orange chairs. Um, but everything else was what we had left down south. So...